How about that double gawk gawk? Not just one finger, but the second finger. And Tenka, like, the like Kyoka had to do it because it was the reward, right? She, she has to do it. That's the rule. But Tenka didn't have to do it. Yes, she still did because she built different. Now, we got a lot more plot regarding exactly what is her bigger sister, right? What's going on with the other girls that looks like humanoids, but there's like the other faction on the snake lolly and then really jacked, you know, gigantic like Amazon's one, right? Separate groups, right? Separate groups. So girls can apparently eat peaches and either they turn into, you know, the regular, regular girls over here, or they can go berserk and they can fucking, you know, they turn into whatever our sister is, right? But I'm beginning to think like, hey, the Supreme Commander, and this new, you know, the Shrine Maiden people that were doing the experiments. Are we the bad people? Let's begin today's reaction. Deathmatch, Aoba, Excite. Oh, Aoba, that's her big sister's name, right? Nay, it's gonna be okay, 11 year old senpai. Aoba versus Tenka and Kyoka? Oh, shit. Well, I, I remember what I said a couple of this a couple of episodes ago. I said like, "What is you know Big Sister's power?" And you guys are like, "Hair, yeah, hair, motherfucker." I know that the hair can do something, but like, look at this. She just fucking shot like a hyper beam. <laughs> what is this? The hair powers too? I don't know. It's a Shuki. Maybe like you know in Bleach. You, you, you know in Bleach, you know how hollows have like Sero, and like if you turn into like a hollow type, like our Ankars can also use Sero. So this is like that kind of equivalent, right? Oh! Wow. They actually didn't short panties. Like this has been the perfect opportunity to do something shit, dumb shit like that, man. <laughs> yeah, she did the Chahe impose. Yeah, you feel calm because you gave the gawk gawk. <laughs> you sucked him off and now you feel good. And the craziest shit is, Kyoka's like fighting with her bare swordsmanship, which isn't even her peach skills, you know? That's a lot of slices. Aoba versus Tenka. I'm still team Tenka, but you know. Damn! <laughs> Yo, I'm just waiting for Tenka to give me a fucking hollow purple, you know? <laughs> fucking do some Gojo Satoru shit. <laughs> this is like enhanced human power. <laughs> what does she call it? <laughs> She's sneaking that line. My sister-in-law. <laughs> I thought we were just her little slate. No, we're promoted to boyfriend. And maybe soon, you know, our big sister is going to be fucking sister-in-law. Oh. Ame no mitoi. That speed can kind of make up. They should come live with us, man. She keeps, she keeps eating peaches, man. Because like no other girl eats peaches like her. Well, maybe the not now and then are are like uh, Coco maybe does, but like straight up, like this is something that's been intensely shown every time. The regular human girls, they eat peach once and it's done like a fucking devil fruit. This girl been eating peach every goddamn fucking moment. Is it like a battery to keep her charged up? It's just like a battery for her? Damn. Big sister mode. Invincible. <laughs> yeah, she is praying on him. Oba's not wrong. Take a hazard praying. Got the, the hair, fucking regular Shuki skills, and the superhuman power. Oh, wow. Cameraman, thank you. Great angle. Hair fucking missiles now. Hair guns. She got, like, good hearing, too. All intuitions, huh? All the senses. She just cracked at it. That's crazy how she's keeping up right now with the girl that's using fucking teleportation. With pure senses, heightened senses, superhuman reactions. She's keeping up. I say more than keep up. Tenka can't even keep up with Alba right now. I 
I mean, we should be able to just... I can teleport 666 times in a row. Comes with the territory. Interesting number. Why 666? The devil's number. Why 666? Thematically. Alright, back at the Coco fight. The slippery girl, Nuru Nuru. Oh, she got a crazy healing though, to be fine. <laughs> I don't know, that's so funny. Just, <laughs> just slap the shit out of her. <laughs> Coco juice. Straight up. You know what they should do? They should start selling the lubricant products with Coco's face in it called Coco Juice. Could you imagine the amount of fucking... Like, this could be anime merch, you know? Instead of selling, like, like um, fucking... Like, I, I, I would argue it's better than selling figurines, right? Selling Coco figurines is a one-time thing. People buy it once and it's over. But it's a lubricant. It's like a subscription service. You're going to buy it, like, every month or so, right? So it's, it's smart. So marketing-wise, like, Coco Lube, I think, is better than Coco figurine. <laughs> <laughs> Kuma likes to slap the shit out of Shushu. <laughs> He's good. The toes. She straight up just licked, slobbered all over the toes. Now, the more I think about it, the amount of fan service Coco gave us that episode is fucking crazy. All over the place. She pretty much ate his ass, dude. She just straight up ate his ass. Oh, oh that, that didn't happen. Uh I, I like this headcanon from Shushu. This is great. <laughs> if you make Shushu jealous, maybe she'll pop off though? Oh, really? Oh, shit. Kuma has some history, some lore. Formation Shushu? What is S? S for Shushu? S10 for CLA. <laughs> We're just running away. We're just gonna do vegan in Dayo. Does Shushu get tiny and we're just run? We haven't done the Thanos um, ants. So, so there's a popular theory that, that it's a long time ago, if you're into the Avengers and shit, like how do we kill Thanos? You, you put Ant-Man up Thanos' ass and you grow big, right? So I've been thinking about that with Shushu too. Like just, just throw a tiny Shushu in, expand, right? Like it should work. Okay, okay. Small and then expand. Oh, oh no, we're going the ass bomb. We're doing the ass bomb. No! Well, I think they gave the fucking backstory on Kuma because Kuma was like eating people. So basically it's like um they, they did like a little bit of backstory to make it feel like Kuma's a bad person. So we wouldn't feel as bad when Kuma dies here. I think that's the idea here, man. Oh, oh, oh. Coco juice. Come on, team can do it though. Coco's not gonna die. I I don't see Coco now in our Aoba as like enemies. To be honest, I just think that we got off on the wrong foot. Nah, she can heal herself up with Coco juice, right? Hopefully. She's not actually dying. No, I don't believe it. Coco Juice. Too early for her to die. No shot. And Kuma too? Oh, fuck. Kuma's alive still. That's right. Yachiho even got her other hair like cut off too. She has one single titty now, yes. Right, she doesn't know about the uh... Wait, the Omnio Bureau doesn't even see that either? But right, Alba doesn't know about Yachiho's like time control powers just yet, right? Oh, 
Himari, stop being a dead weight. Just after he said hiding behind, how cowardly. She's spamming it too much. She's just hiding. She's just chilling. Give me a beautiful death. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You get behind me, big sis. Alright, we, we got an emotional scene. Okay, okay. She just wanted to feel Himari's back, right? They didn't have to get that close. I think she just wanted to touch her. Oh, don't jinx yourself. Don't jinx yourself. Come on, grab that big sister ass. Fucking grab that back there. Do we got like one more left, maybe? Wait! What she got? What she got? Whose power did she skill? Okay, maybe he might be well clutch. She got a secret weapon. Huh? Hair. Did you have to shoot the panty shot? No. So that one Kyoka scene right from the front where she fucking, you know, jumps down. You don't see the panties there, but you do show you mighty panties here, okay? Aoba's power? Aoba's power! Is, is this Aoba's power that she's emulating? Wait! <laughs> She just, she just guns out of the fucking hair, dude. Okay, what if I just shoot blindly in all directions? Good point. Yeah, yeah, try that, try that. Don't hit, you know, don't hit Yachio though. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of epic. It's pretty goofy. It's just funny. It's funny and hype at the same time. Straight up, it's a gun afro. You're right. Oh, there she is. No, because we could revert time back now and now we know where you are, then we can pinpoint that location! Ah! Golden hour! <laughs> she just went like fucking whoa this time. <laughs> that was the fucking biggest pose. Okay, it's prime time. Now we know where she is. We got it. What a busted power, dude. The bullets should be phasing through her though, right? Holy shit, if they just get hit once by the bullets, they're fucking done. It's just like, you know, like usually guns don't do shit in anime. And like they were shooting a lot before and they weren't doing shit. I guess they were kind of deflecting and dodging, but goddamn, just like one direct shot, it's fucking over, huh? Can she, could she not phase through the bullets? Or maybe she was just caught off guard? How many times? Yeah, the Tenka theme is so good. I love this Tenka theme. The fuck? Oh, it swapped. When the Tenka theme is playing, it's pretty much over, man. Ooh, predicted that. That was a fucking read. She knew it should be. Huh? What, what, what? You can't kill your big sister. You can't kill your sister-in-law. Come on. You, you, how, how mad would little slave be, right? Little slave would never forgive you if you killed Alba. You can't kill Alba. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't get hit by that either, though. Nah, she got away, right? Huh? Tenka dead? Tenka dead? Oh, Tenka not dead. Tenka got a hit, though. Oh, my God, dude. Even with all that damage, she still looks cool, dude. Good! No shot of commander dies like this. What the fuck is this transition scene? 
It's just Alba going on a picnic and all the girls are like, Wow, you're so cool! That's a lot of blood. Because she hesitated. She would have won, man. Tenka would have won. New feelings, huh? Are we cool? We're cool now. Friends? Friends? Yeah? Yeah? Even if she preys on your little brother? Oh. Oh, oh, we're getting married? Oh, nice, nice. Honeymoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going so fucking fast, dude. Are we gonna see the baby? Let, let's see the baby. Jump in the kid. No, <laughs> oh, she's not okay. Do you see her? <laughs> Do you see her? <laughs> are you okay? No, I think we understand each other. Right? We're, we understand each other. We're cool now. Coco. Coco and Kuma's good. Nice. I was actually sad when Kuma died for a second. Akura's actually dead though. Peace. The guys, we, 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 can, we can just... Ne? What's up? Oh, Ne sense of disturbance. Attack from the other faction. Attack from the other faction, right? Yeah, uh, snake faction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, not snake faction. So snake lolly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she has been always saying like God, this God, that, right? Their theme has been like divine gods, right? So they think themselves as gods. I what, what was my la what was my theory before? Fuck. I think my theory was like um. So you know how if you eat a peach, you can go berserk and you could turn out like Naon, Aoba, or you know Coco, and you get experimented on. And, 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 but they left, right? I, I was thinking, like, these girls are, like, the people that, like, the experimentations, like, did work all the way through or some shit. And they're, like, the chosen ones. Therefore, they think they're gods or some shit. Who, who are they? Like, we need a backstory on them. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fucking bang, 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 bang. Oh, that was fucking bad. Well, that was fucking bad. Whoa. When the fuck did that happen? Yeah, yeah, inferior mutts, right? They're superior because they're actually... Wow, that, that girl. Wow. Wow. Is she an elf? What, what, she, got, she got like pointy ears. He's great. This is, this is like a warrior elf, huh? And, and, and folk, folk, um, uh, what, what was I saying? Uh, inferior mods because they, they, they are the successful experiments, I don't know. Thunder gods, leaders of the Shuki. Truly the leaders of the Shuki? There's six more, no, we, we've seen three of them. She, 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 she's a little cute, she's a little cute. Kuma, no! What was that, Juryu? What's Jorio? That's her name. Jorio is her name, right? What a fucking stomp. Alba protecting us! <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> uh, even our unicorn, they can't listen. Because they control the Shuki, huh? So you gotta get bitten by the snake and then they can return. Now, is the snake like the only one that can actually control, right? Because it sounds like the mechanic is get bit by a snake, then you can like return them to the original murderous nature. I'm sure only she can do it or maybe other people can too. Oh. Who's gonna save us here? Plot armor? Yo, Supreme Commander! Who? Who's gonna save us? Yuki's not doing shit. I spoke way too soon! I spoke like three seconds soon! <laughs> what the fuck was that time?
running. <laughs> I, I low key, I, I wanted like another fucking drop in for like a Supreme Commander, and finally we get to see the Supreme Commander or something. But okay, Yuki gonna do the main character shit. Now, Yuki technically is like a Shuki hybrid, but I guess, you know, they won't be able to override Yuki then? If he get bit by a snake, I wonder what happens. Yes, ma'am. Cliffhanger incoming. Teach us Nei Senpai. Oh. Okay, okay. This is actually a good one. Not creepy. So only Alba can handle it, huh? Only Alba can handle the peaches, like, continuous eating. No, n n Coco and, like, uh, now can What happens when they eat too much peach, right? We don't know that yet. Bye-bye, Nesa. That's another episode, and Tenka was fucking lit, yo. Oh, 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 oh I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I gotta be careful. I, I gotta be careful when I'm scrolling through, you know, the, the fucking Chain Soldier episodes. But goddamn, dude. The Tenka flashback. I missed it last episode. Apparently, Tenka already said, you know, big sister-in-law. Like, oh my god, dude. Sister-in-law, that's fucking hilarious. Like, Tenka is in. Like, everybody is so worried about survival, and Tenka's just thinking about, like her, like, her future with Yuki, little slave. It's like, I'm gonna have a kid. She had, she had an entire fucking flashback with the kid. You know what would have been funny? Like, 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 a hilarious comedic moment would be, like, if she was, like, a near-death situation, right? You know how there's, like, a, a near-death situation and you have a flashback of your life? But instead of the flashback of your life, like, she had, like, this flashback near that death situation, you know? She just thinks about all the, like, that. She does some, like, total awe. She just gets so fucking delusion. Thinks about, like, a future with, you know, <laughs> with Yuki and everything. And that's, like, that... <laughs> <laughs> the the fla life flashing before your eyes, but Tenka's fucking great, man. Tenka's powers are so fucking sick. Tenka's theme, I believe, is the best theme. And goddamn, the battle is not over yet. We got confirmation that the the opposing enemies, right? They are like the gods. They run. They rule over the Shuki. But well, they surely they didn't just like spawn out of nowhere, right? Now maybe my theory of them being like perfected experiments from the Shrine Maiden Temple is not right. But, like, I'm just wondering, like, where the fuck did they come from, right? Did they exist first and then the Shuki? I don't fucking know. We need more lore about them, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.